Welcome to the GPT API based coding. One of our issues in our code with GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 was that our conversation was lost because we did not save them. Here I have added a few more lines such that the conversations are saved in a file. Once you run the program, a file with a prefix equal to the time when the program started will be created. We will see that soon. The extension of the file will be .txt. In this part, I just created the file and the file will be saved in the current working directory. Here is the while loop that keeps iterating until we enter quit. I am using the GPT-4 model, but you could use any of the previous models such as GPT-3.5 Turbo. This is the part using which I sent the user message to OpenAI. The JSON response is parsed and kept in the variable named response. Then we write the user question and the response received from OpenAI into the file. That is, every time we receive the response from OpenAI, we append the user query and the response into the file. Of course, we are also printing the response on the terminal. Running the program, we can see that a file is created that has the timestamp when the program started. The program will write the questions and the responses in this file during the lifetime of the execution of this program. The user enters a question, a response is received. Now notice that the file contains the question and the response. Then the user enters another question, a response is received. The new question and the new response are appended to the file. Pretty awesome, isn't it? During this particular execution, all questions and responses will be recorded in this file. When the program terminates, that is when the program terminates because the user entered the word quit, the file is there in the folder for the user. Next time you run the program, a new file will be generated for the new conversation. Even though amazing, there is a limitation of this program. The program forgets the context of the conversation. It cannot even remember the previous question. For example, if I ask my program, what is GAN? It answers the question very well. Then I ask it a follow-up question. Is it a trend? The answer it gives is, I am an AI language model, so I cannot observe real-time trends. However, I can help answer questions or provide information based on the data I have been trained on. If you can provide more context or specify a topic, I would be happy to help. That really means that it has forgotten my previous question. It did not realize that I am referring to if GAN is a trendy technology. We were trying to create a chatbot. We have it, but it seems it is not as good as ChatGPT. For example, if I ask ChatGPT the same question, what is a GAN? It gives a nice answer, as usual. Then I ask it, if it is a trend, ChatGPT says yes. GANs have become a significant trend in the field of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning since their introduction in 2014. That means ChatGPT remembered my previous question and it understands that I am talking about GAN in my second question. So, how will we make our Python program a conversational AI chatbot? Hmm, it sounds like a good topic for the next video. Thank you for watching.